Hello friends, this video on electrochemistry part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The question is how will you determine standard electrode potential of uh, this reaction that is the reduction potential of Mg2 plus 2 Mg. Again we know that we have to use SHE standard hydrogen electrode to find the uh, reduction or electrode potential for any uh, rocks couple. So here we'll do the same thing, we'll keep this as anode as per convention and will this be a cathode, right, we'll take one molar solution, this is SHE which E as 0 and this we have to find, so this reaction I can write as what, the platinum, my hydrogen gas is oxidized to H plus and here my Mg2 plus will become Mg. Correct. And why this is cathode? Because you didn't need to find the electrode potential that is nothing but reduction potential. So since here reduction will happen, so what you get is the exact value. So now here in this case E cell will be what? E right minus E left. That is nothing but E right is this guy. This is Mg and this is Mg plus solution here. So this is E of Mg2 plus 2 Mg minus E of left is that is hydrogen right hydrogen to sorry H plus 2 H both reduction potential and this is experimental value we get and this is nothing but E of Mg 2 plus 2 Mg minus 0 and this is E self experimental value because when you collect with voltmeter here you will get this value here so this is what you get this and this is what you have to find and that is my answer correct because this value you will get experimentally when the moment you set up this in your lab you will get some value here in the reading whatever you get just put the value and that becomes your standard electrode potential of mg2 plus 2 mg the question is can you store copper sulfate in zinc pot so let's see this first so i have copper sulfate cu2 plus and I have a zinc pot. Zinc pot, the color is something like this. Now let's see the reduction potential. I have zinc here is here, copper is here. Copper sulfate is Cu2 plus, right? So Cu2 plus to copper is 0.34 volt. And Gen N2 plus to zinc is minus 0.76. That means this reaction is more feasible, right? More feasible. This is not feasible. But if you flip this reaction now, this reaction, Zn2, Zn2 plus will be 0 0.76 volt. That means now if you compare reaction 1, 2, and 3, if you compare reaction 1 and 2, obviously 1 is feasible, right? Because this is a negative value now. But if you compare 1 and 3, 3 is more feasible. Correct? So if you see next next comparison, if you compare 1 and 2, okay this reaction is feasible but we are talking about a scenario where zinc if you are putting in zinc if zinc is getting oxidized because I have these two things right I have copper sulfate solution and I have zinc so I'll compare reaction 1 and 3 if you compare reaction 1 and 3 this is 0.76 volt this is 0.3 volt that means reaction 3 will rule reaction 3 will rule that means zinc will become zinc sulfate if zinc will become zinc sulfate So copper will become copper sulfate will become copper so I have copper sulfate solution that will become copper and zinc will get the salt right so we cannot use zinc pot to store copper sulfate solution but if the question is can you store zinc sulfate in a copper pot the answer will be yes why because then we have a zinc sulfate and we have a copper so if we compare these reactions now I have zinc sulfate and copper then you will see that it, that is not feasible because copper will not be able to displace zinc sulfate from its solution copper is weaker but zinc can displace copper from its salt but copper cannot displace zinc from its salt correct 
the next question is we have to consult the table of standard electrode potentials so that is three substance that can oxidize ferrous ions under suitable current so something that can oxidize ferrous ions first let's mark this in red right the ferrous ions this guy ferric to ferrous which can oxidize ferrous to ferric that means something that can oxidize ferrous ions that substance will be able to reduce faster than at 3 plus 2 able correct see something which can oxidize this from F 2 to F 3 that means they are the one which will be able to reduce faster than this if they are able to reduce faster than this then only they can actually oxidize them correct so in that case anything which has more reduction potential because they are talking about the ability to reduce then this will be able to for example my fluorine my chromium 3 mn4 minus au3 or my bromine or my chlorine oxygen these are my examples of uh, substance that can oxidize ferrous ions why you understood see fe3 plus 2 fe2 the value is 0.71 volt right anything above this are the one which can easily get reduced then compared to this if they can easily reduce themselves that means they can oxidize this guy thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again